Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our ongoing video user guide for APT where today we're going to be looking at framing masks. Now framing masks are one of a few uh, little features in APT that are only available to those who are supporting APT through the purchase of a key so if you haven't purchased a key you won't be able to access these to use but it's a very handy little uh, part of the program and let's get in and have a look at it. Now framing masks are probably something that aren't quite as popular as they used to be. Uh, a lot of people just rely on point craft and go to plus plus, their plate solving to get themselves on target. But there is one area where the uh, uh, framing mask simply can't be matched in point craft and that's the rotation of your camera. Um, point craft doesn't work with that, it gets you on the centre of the target and if your rotation is slightly off the images will be slightly off to each other. So I'm going to use, I've got the Dragons of Arrow here, uh, NGC 6188 that I took back in June and I'm going to compare two nights, uh, about four nights apart and at the time I did not use a framing mask. I was relying totally on a GoTo++ to get me on target and I can tell you now the centre of the target had got pretty well um, but I'm going to have to look and see how much my camera was rotated whether I was right on with my rotation because I just did it visually at the time I didn't have a, even the manual rotator I now have so it was all done visually but we'll have a look and see how it turned out now framing masks are easy uh, to access them you can go to your tools tab uh, on the left hand side here framing mask or there is a shortcut alt k uh, which will bring it up and it's right down the bottom down here so I'll bring it up where I can see it a bit better and hopefully you can see it as well now the first thing you need to do, well I'll just quickly go into the settings here um, by default the radius and the thickness is 5 and 1 I just slightly increase the radius and the thickness just to make it easier to see when they put the rings up on your screen now just to note that the colour of the rings is reflected on the colour of the skin you've chosen for APT so it's not a good idea to have this with the current colour settings I've got because the rings don't stand out too well against a monochrome image in the background but uh, maybe I'll have to have a talk to Ivo and see if we can get selected colors for the rings it might be easier so I just click on OK there now to use a framing mask all you do is first off uh, add a new framing mask give it a name I'm just going to call this dragons for my dragons here um, now I can save that there's not really much to save it but at the moment but then all you need to do is pick a few stars and just simply click on them and you'll put a circle around them. So I'll pick uh, this one in here and put the circle. Uh, that, this one over here is not another bad one. And uh, let's pick the, pick the one at the end of this slot here. So there you go, I have three circles. That's a framing mask. Now if you need to remove a circle, if you want to move it a little bit, it's simply a case of clicking on it again and then re-clicking to center. I still can't get it centered. Oh, I've now generated two of them there. Oh, that'll do. That's close enough anyway. But that's all it is there. And then you go save. Now, while you're on a real session, um, so you close down, go away, come back the next week or whatever for another session. Um, and then what you do is you use your GoTo++ plus plus or whatever to get in position on your target, center the target and then you'll take another image and compare it with your framing mask. So I go in, I'd select this from the drop down list and I'll go to images, uh, I'll go up so this is four days later or four nights later oh, that one's not going to do much good uh, I'll go down to another mono down here and there we go Oh things didn't work <laughs> and if you see it's not lined up quite simply the rotation is well off uh, this circle here should be there that circle should be there and this one should be down here so my rotation was off the center is not too bad but the rotation is off so what you do then is you rotate your camera uh, as much as you need and then have another look at it rotate your camera have another look at it rotate your camera have another look at it um, so you, like I said you can set these up blinking um, if you're on the different side of a meridian uh, you just simply click the meridian flip button and it will flip it for a meridian flip and that's simply all there is to it um, so as I said I didn't do too well in getting the rotation lined up 
but it was centered so using this in combination with go to plus uh, plus can get you right on what your target should be so all these need to come around and I'd need to rotate my camera around in a clockwise direction here to get everything on target but that's it for that um, you have import and export and this so uh, you know I've got a separate processing PC so I can go on my processing PC set up a framing mask on images I've taken and then I can export them from there and import them onto my imaging PC to use so that's all those are for there and that's it that's a framing mask for you uh, small simple but very effective um, I'll say goodbye for now I wish you all clear skies take care and catch us in another video later bye